Council meetings are long and boring. Wouldn't it be great if they were short and unboring? This is why I have invented the five minute meeting. <laughs> All right. Ashland City Council meeting of May 5th. Uh, this guy's announcement is uh, appreciating the uh, Public Works Director, Paula Brown, because uh, she retired last week, and uh, uh, and he said, uh, yeah, she did important stuff, and uh, Paula Brown said, I'm proud to serve, and uh, the staff is phenomenal, and uh, this one said, I made you a vase, and then... Uh, and then everyone said uh, that she was great. And then the city administrator's report. Uh, fire season started. Uh, see, uh, fire season started May first, and weed abatement means uh, uh, that June fifteenth weeds need to be cut, and May thirty first is green drop off day for free. And there's a new water master plan survey, a Clay Street project with fifty to sixty low income houses got permits. Pretty sure. And then special presentations. Uh, Wildfire Safety Commission report worked with uh, they uh, worked with the social media and talked uh, about home wildfire safety evacuation routes and smoke. And they have a booth at the farmers market. And they have formed fourteen working groups. And uh, they then this guy went through all of them: empty lot group and the real estate group and the landscaper group. And, uh, and then I napped for a little while. And then uh, a proclamation of uh, National Historic Preservation Month. And this one said uh, May 17th uh, to the 23rd is Historic Preservation Week. So I uh, appreciate that. And then uh, a COVID emergency uh, declaration extension. So this guy goes, uh, he goes uh, uh, this declaration is mostly to keep Ashland eligible for federal reimbursements. And this guy says, hey, uh, we can take some issues off the uh, uh, emergency declaration. And uh, this one says, you know, I'm kind of in favor of this uh, extending this. Uh, this process is actually going pretty well. <laughs> and then uh, this one says, uh, let's uh, if we uh, let commissions open up again, uh, we need them um, to consider these new COVID forced budget restrictions. And then talk, 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 and then move to extend the uh, uh, state of emergency declaration for two more weeks is all approved. And then the COVID recap, just kind of, uh, this, uh, this guy just covers uh, COVID recap. He says, uh, uh, the county has to send in an application to the state with uh, lots of stats and info by Friday, the 8th, and uh, they are ready to do that. And if the state thinks Jackson County is cool, then uh, we get to open as phase one for three weeks. That's maybe some restaurants or barber shops or furniture stores and maybe small groups. And and then, uh, but everyone's worried about the, the state versus county responsibilities. What do we do if there's a stupid county next to us that does dumb things? And then uh, uh, this one says, uh, uh, what responsibilities does this, our, the city really have in this whole process? And incident commander here says, uh, uh, we just share what the state and county uh, are telling us. And uh, we would clarify that info for local businesses. And then uh, the homeless city, the homeless uh, uh, services lady at the city she says uh the, uh, the city is supporting a uh, temporary housing uh, run by ohra aura and uh, there are 51 homeless in 45 hotel rooms and this guy jumps in and goes hey uh wait wait we're not uh, we're only helping uh, ashland homeless right not those other homeless jerks from medford right and uh this one says uh, hey i do some homeless work and uh i can guarantee you that uh, uh we we're only spending Ashland money on uh, Ashland uh, uh, homeless people. And then uh, he said, he goes, hey, what are you, what's this deal with you helping homeless people on the side? What's up with that? And uh, she says, uh, well, I volunteer to help the homeless in a group that meets formally every week. And, and I, I believe, I think that's why she got elected for a job, actually. And then uh, the city lady said, uh, uh, the meal program for the homeless, the city is funding a, a peace house for the meals that are sent out five nights a week. And the city uh, picked an end date of May 15th for that. So that might happen. And then uh, the city kicked in money to the Greenway feeding program. And the city is trying to get the homeless shower truck running by, uh, but a cleaning issue was a problem. And so they might hire a cleaning crew and offer that two days a week at the Grove. And then this one says, don't forget, the food bank is awesome. And then uh, the city lady said, yeah, yeah, we're holding back 50 grand to help people with uh, future rent issues. And, uh, and uh, then the mayor goes, hey, uh, I heard the deal. You're working with some other group on the side. City lady went, yeah, it's a county group kind of planning to deal with the county homeless, like just in the same way we're dealing with the city homeless. And then this one goes, uh, there's a plan where a rogue retreat might buy the Shepherd's Way Church and turn it into transitional housing. And then uh, this guy goes, ah, that's all great. Let's move on. And then this one goes, hey, I, uh, I have a letter proposed that... Uh, from council to be sent to the commercial landlords to cut all the tenants some slack. And uh, uh, they all approved, well, they write that letter. She goes, hey, I, I got another letter for council to send a state political representatives asking that the federal funding tracks down to uh, uh, local businesses. And they all approved that. And then consent agenda. And this one goes, I got to recuse myself. My kid works at uh, the pizza place that's involved in this uh, 
consent agenda, and then there was five minutes of confusion, but all approved. And then the economic uh, cultural grants program, this guy goes, he goes, he goes, hey, uh, normally there's uh, 80 grand for some one thing and then 150 grand in grants to another thing for businesses in town. So let's put it all on hold to see how much money we actually get in because uh, that money's not in yet. And then this one goes, uh, oh, man, lots of words about possible totals of revenue and forecasting restricted unknown funds. And uh, let's just get money. Uh, let's just get, have some money ready to help with all uh, tourism we can push in the summer. And then this one goes, he goes, I move we uh, uh, hold all the tourism money back for a second, take a look at tourism funding next meeting. All approved. And then uh, the cost review ad hoc committee, the city lady said they had lots of meetings about PERS and healthcare and ambulances, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, then this guy goes, he goes, oh man, this is a, what a good committee this was. Uh, the committee looked at the things that uh, we, uh, the city thinks we should look at. And then the committee looked at it and said, I, we think the city should look at all these things. And so then uh, that turned into a discussion mostly about ambulances. And uh, this guy says, I, I, we should have a study session on ambulances. And she says, I'm afraid of old people dying because of uh, the new, uh, new ambulance service would be slower. And then this one goes, hey, let's wrap this thing up. And then uh, this one says, hey, I, I moved to uh, finish this next meeting all approved. And then uh, this one says, uh, she's got her, uh, how to help the downtown businesses. Are there uh, city funds to give to businesses, you know, hanging around the, and the city administrator? He says, he goes, I, 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 I got nothing. And she goes, he goes, really? And he goes, uh, well, maybe, maybe interfund loans. I mean, we could do that. And this guy goes, hey, uh, I, I get your idea about uh, getting some funds, but I don't think loans to businesses is a good idea. And this guy goes, he goes, hey, uh, he goes, what's up with the future parking money fund? That's something. And this guy goes, huh. Maybe. I mean, it is $450,000. And then uh, this guy goes, this guy goes, uh, small businesses don't deserve special money uh, aside from other people in town. And then this one goes, uh, let's unrestrict that on uh, that future parking money fund at the next meeting. And they all blabbered and went, well, approved. That's it. End of meeting. You're welcome.